Hey guys, what's up? It's Joel, AKA The Daily Guru, and we're taking a break today from getting over ourselves, and we're taking a break from something old, something new, because I've had a lot of people ask me one simple question, so today I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect playlist. One of the most important things is what you're calling it. Don't call it cool songs or songs I like. If it's on your iPod, chances are you like it, right? Right. Call it something far more descriptive. Call it workout mix, call it mellow, call it late night train ride. For me, I have a playlist and it's called Jammin' 92. And anybody who grew up in Cleveland, Ohio knows exactly what's on that playlist. In reality, you're making a mixtape for yourself, but in some cases, you're gonna wanna think about the other people who might be impacted by this playlist. If you're gonna be at work, might not be the best time for NWA. If you're making a playlist to set the mood, you may wanna take your potential partner into account because they'll probably be there too, but we'll get deeper into that later. The second and maybe most challenging part of making a great playlist is that you have to go through your entire life if you have a massive amount of songs in your iTunes playlist, this could take an hour or two to do. But trust me, when you go through the entire thing, you get the right balance. If you do it for only like 10 minutes and maybe you only make it to the letter G, you're missing most of your songs. You're missing great songs that could be perfect for the mix you're making. And that's the key to this, is mixing it up and staying balanced. You don't want the same five or 10 songs in every single mix, and you don't want a mix that is overloaded with one certain artist. You may be a huge fan of Joe Strummer and The Clash. You may be a huge fan of John Coltrane. You may be a huge fan of Dr. Dre, but you don't want their entire catalog in there because it's gonna overpower the other artists in the mix. But really, it's about balance. It's also realizing that for some of us, Slayer and Dozer may not be the best stuff to go in a mellow mood mix. And honestly, you probably don't want Pink Floyd or Zero Seven in something you're gonna be driving late at night to. Now, I will tell you guys this. This is my big secret. This is how you make the perfect playlist. Once you have the playlist constructed, Go into that playlist, put your headphones on, and you're gonna listen to the first five or 10 seconds of every single song really fast in order. Because what's gonna happen is the mood of that playlist will become very, very clear to you, even if it's in your subconscious. And when you hit a song that doesn't fit in, you'll be like, wow, that sounds really awkward and you'll take it out and it makes the playlist even better. But here's the other thing. These playlists should be ever evolving. Go back and look at them after a week, after two weeks, after three weeks. And if you see a song, you're like, wow, whenever that comes on, I skip over it, pull it out, but replace it with something else. So that's all there is to it, guys. Make sure you have a clear intent to the playlist that you're gonna make. Make sure you explore your entire musical library and make sure you do that quick five, 10 second listen once you have the playlist in order to ensure that that great mood you're creating is never interrupted, whether it's really hard, hardcore music or it's really, really mellow. That five seconds can make all the difference in the world. That's how you guys can get the most out of your music, in my opinion. If you wanna email me your playlist, I'd love to see what you guys are listening to. You can email me directly at thedailyguru at gmail.com. You can go ahead and read where I'm writing about the greatest songs ever written at thedailyguru.net, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.